Hey there, smartphone fans. Welcome back. And if you're looking for a super fast IP68 to phone with a large battery, I have the latest one on the market. Welcome to my Ukitil WP5000 for hands-on review. Fast and tough IP68 rated outdoors champion. First of all, this is not one of those outdoors phones that's slow and paltry on specs because the WP5000 offers one of the best specs on the market and it is also super tough but at the cost of being a bit more heavy. The phone oozes with style and manliness but it also serves a purpose. The phone is absolutely bolted shut and is really tough since it took a fall from head height on the concrete floor and was just left with basically a few nibbles on the side metal rim. I love using this phone and I love that it has implemented new features. Having a rigged phone does not mean you can forego face ID or fingerprint unlock and this phone has both. The face ID is reliable in good sunlight but the good thing is that you can use both in any conditions you like. The phone has a new 18 by 9 full screen display which is not a great standard and the display gets very very bright and has very vivid and saturated colors that really make it pop out. And since this is an IP68 rated phone, I tested it in absolutely every water scenario I can think of. I'll put it in like a bowl of water, wash it in the sink and I also have a uh, man-made small pond in my backyard uh, which my parents-in-law made and has like really cool fish and they actually love the phone They're very curious about it and yeah it also survived that and it also survived the rain quarter in the pond so this is 100 real waterproof phone i'm pretty sure it can survive like any water conditions for around five to ten minutes even under it it's a very very nice phone and the build quality is again the top top part of the device even the sim tray pin if you want to insert your sim card or take it out you have to use a prying tool to do so um, and the phone really just loves being rigged and loves being manly big and strong and it also has a few other features uh, like uh, a magnet sensor which is used for the compass amp it also has a super power saving mode and FM radio enabled, which you can use uh, via your headphones. And if you have a 3.5 millimeter headphones, you will have to use a USB Type C adapter, which Ukito have provided inside the box. Since this is a full waterproof device, and it does not come with a headphone jack, just a USB Type C port on the bottom, which is shipped via a rubber deck. But I've managed to loosen that up and still place it in the wall and the phone is still fine even without it. So it's really waterproof. Now onto the endurance part. It's called really well and around 18 and a half hours endurance test in PC Mark, which in reality equals around 10 to 12 hours of browsing or watching YouTube videos. I was able to get around 15 hours of screen on time tops on this device just by playing videos, which is really, really cool. Uh, in regular daily usage, I was able to last around two and a half days with the battery with 4G and GPS turned on all the time with a lot of uh, browsing uh, YouTube and even some gaming. So if you're worried about Andres on this device, don't be. Um, the Hilo P25 inside is probably not the most uh, battery efficient chip and slightly behind the Snapdragon 625 but the big battery more than compensates for that. In reality, the WP5000 offers around the same battery life as a Redmi Note 4X or a Redmi 5 Plus. And the phone also supports quick charging and the full battery is charged in just around two, two and a half hours with one hour charging, giving you around 60% of battery life. The phone is running on Android 7.1.1 Nougat and it's a very light and user-friendly known almost talk like google experience and speaking about the experience the phone actually runs really really well it's a six gigabyte ram phone and it definitely uses that six gigabytes of ram apps open very quickly 
and the phone rarely loads any apps. I'm talking about you can actually put like 15, 20 apps in the background, switch between them, uh, and the phone will not reload any of them and will actually uh, fly through them quite, quite fast, almost flagship level standard from a year, a year and a half ago. And it also supports mandatory things today like split screen multitasking, so you can take advantage of that huge display and the new 18 by 9 aspect ratio, uh, which is something that most, uh, if not any rigged devices don't offer to, on today's market at this like really budget price, which the Yukito WP5000 is selling for. If you're interested in the price of the phone, there is a link to buy it below the video description. Continuing with gaming, uh, I just decided to show you how good it ran PUBG or player known background for mobile. Since this is not a gaming oriented device, it actually performed really, really well in gaming. The WP5000 can run the latest games in medium settings on the Android and run them actually very, very decently. The PUBG Mobile Online was fully playable at the recommended settings and the graphics looked really nice. The phone didn't get hot at all while gaming for a long time, long periods of time. Uh, I forgot to mention in the battery test that it gets hot while using fast charging. So I think you should definitely not use the phone while it's being charged, but you can do gaming for long hours, watch videos, browse without the phone getting hot or having any thermal issues. And moving on, of course, I'll show you benchmarks and Tutu, Geekbench and PC Mark scores all paint the same picture. This is a very fast device. Uh, it's around the same level as any Snapdragon 625, 626 device, which is really, really good. And a lot of frigate phones don't often that at like any price point. On a few negatives, the device was fast locking GPS signal outside, uh, but had real trouble locking signal inside. Maybe it's because of that uh, uh, overly coated body to keep it waterproof. Or we really need to do a quick software update, uh, but as it is, the GPS inside is not really good. And the phone does come with a very tiny notification LED. Uh, next up is the full camera review on this phone. Uh, since the cameras are not a main part of this device, I actually expect the cameras to like suck really hard. I expect the cameras to be like really poor level of quality. Uh, there's a 60 megapixel Samsung sensor on the back and a 8 megapixel Hunix sensor on the front. This is a dual rear camera phone, but the second sensor is only used to provide depth of field information. It does not help get better long range shots. That being said, the photo quality of the phone was actually surprisingly decent and reliable. Fast shutter speed, accurate color prediction, uh, but since the camera is not the main focus of this device, it did suffer from overexposure from time to time and uh, underexposure in some cases. Still, this is a very, very reliable rear camera sensor if you can still make to take a few shots now and then extra to get the perfect shots and even low light performance was quite satisfying if it wasn't for the too much noise which i think comes from the cheaper lenses used for the camera the video quality was full hd but there is no image stabilization uh, and it suffers from the same issues as the main camera which is over exposing or under exposing front camera was decent for a rigged device, and I was surprised that it does have a front facing flash, which makes a huge difference if you're in a like, low light situation. So, uh, as a front and back camera phone, this is a pretty, pretty decent offering because this is a rigged device. To conclude, the WP5000 is definitely worth buying. Is it perfect? No, but it's definitely super tough, really waterproof, really well built phone with decent cameras and it has that manly look which i personally love and okito have also thoughtfully implemented 18 by 9 full screen and face id unlock so that you don't feel left out of all the more features you can buy the phone from link in the description below subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up if you like it thank you for watching and peace out